Alright, hopefully that's a little better. <coughs> <coughs> yes, I'm eating tamales. I just got these from Christina. Thank you, Christina's mom. These are freaking amazing and I'm like couldn't even wait to get them open and eat them. Oh, bless you, baby. My baby's sitting here in her high chair. I'll let that soak in that for a minute. <coughs> Alright, so today we are going to be um, wrapping five different gifts. Um, I have um, five here that I'm going to do real quick in craft paper. I'm going to just wrap them in some brown craft paper for our base. Um, I'm just cutting off the little thingies, little plastic tabs. Um, my cousin works at Walmart. She call, said they're called do it, do it's, I don't know. All right. So this one just folds over. So I'm just going to fold that like that. <clears throat> That one doesn't have one. And then this one's just a square. And then we also have this funky shaped um, little box that we're going to also wrap. But we're not going to do that one in craft. So um, let me move my food out of the way real quick. Mm. Okay. So we're going to start with this little small box. I'm just going to wrap these up real quick while I'm waiting for people to join and then we'll start decorating them. So I get my craft paper from the Dollar Tree. It's the cheapest place I've found it. Um, you can also get it at Walmart pretty much anywhere that has wrapping paper will have craft paper as well. Usually if you can't find it near wrapping paper, you'll find it near the, um, like packing supply stuff. And, um, I'm not the best wrapper in the world. Um, usually when I wrap things for my kids, I just do it really fast, but these are, um, for some guests that we're having over tomorrow. And so I'm going to make them real cute and fancy. We're just going to go ahead and tuck these ends in. And you totally don't have to be a professional wrapper to do this because these are really easy little tricks. Um, I am a craftaholic, so I do already have most of this stuff in my house just sitting around. <clears throat> um, but a lot of the supplies are things that you can easily get like at the Dollar Tree or Target in their little dollar spot. Stop throwing your tamales in the floor, ma'am. That's tamale abuse. What's wrong with you? Hopefully no one can hear um, baby shark in the background. If you do, I apologize for that. Okay. Alright, so I usually um, get too much paper. So when I've got a thick amount, you want about halfway, uh, halfway point of the um, end, the, uh, let's see, what's that, the width of the end, so I kind of mark that if I can't eyeball it, and then I'll just cut it around, that kind of helps you know how much you need to cut off, so you don't have too much overage, and it's easier to fold over the ends, but again, it doesn't have to be, like, super fancy, because we're going to make them 
extra. And no one will even notice your crooked cutting because it won't be the focus. All right, so let's toss these scraps over here. Eight kids, soon to be nine. So I usually just try to wrap things as fast. Everything that I wrap with paper, um, rectangular, just for my sanity because um, I don't really like wrapping things with paper that are like weird shape, like this box here. Like if I had this, um, I would probably put it in like an Amazon box or something if I wanted to wrap it with paper because, um, I mean, I've watched those little TikTok videos that show you how to do it, but I don't have the patience for that. So it's easier to just do an alternative type of gift wrapping gift wrapping. Um, so for that odd shape package, we are actually going to do fabric on that one. We're going to do that one very last. Yeah. Is that right? All right. We can get these folded up real quick. And uh oh. Hopefully, this next one I will cut the right size so we can get to the fun part. I probably should have wrapped these ahead of time, but I've been wrapping all my other kids' gifts today and I lost track of time. And of course, I had to go get my tamales from Christina and her mom, and they're amazing. And if you missed it earlier, you should go get some because. Oh my god, they're delicious. Okay, last one. Let's make sure we measure this properly this time. Alright, see, yeah, this one, it just rolls up so tightly. It's, it's hard to get a... It's hard to get the scissors down it without it rolling up. Alright. And I'm not even gonna cut this one. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do the the roll, the flip and roll. We're just gonna flip it and flip it. And when we get to the end, um, I like to fold it at the edge when I do it like this, and just make like a nice crease. And that's not very straight, but that's okay. Good enough. Then we get our ends. All right, so the first one that we're gonna be doing is um, going to involve glitter. If you hate the herpes of craft supplies, you can, there are other things that you can do other than glitter, obviously. I obviously am a glutton for punishment, so I love glitter. And um, I totally don't mind getting glitter on everything in my house. Um, my husband doesn't mind it because he is a champ. So we're going to glitterify everything today. All right, one more side. Oops, my tape stuck together. Okay. And another reason I don't like this thicker craft paper is it's kind of hard to fold. It's a little, a little more tough to manage. Okay. So for the glitter one, um, I've got this little bitty container of glitter. It's um, like little shards of stringy glitter stuff. And I've also got this. Um, this is just like one of those plastic cutting mats. I'm just going to use it as a little um, kind of thing to catch my glitter. And then I've got... Um, you can use double-sided tape. I just had this um, poster tape on hand, so I'm going to use that instead. It's basically the same thing as double-sided tape. Probably just costs more. And it's removable, so. 
All right, let's. All right, that is not going to want to cut. So, um, so what you can do is you can either go all the way around your package, or you can go um, just like make little bits and pieces all over. Um, for this one, I am going to actually go all the way around it. So I'm going to find my bottom. This is going to be my bottom, and so I am going to just start in the middle, and then I'm going to wrap it and try to keep it as even as possible. And then I'm going to cut it right where it ends. And then I'm going to make sure it's sticking down really well. And then I'm going to peel off this part. And so I've got this. Um, it's easy to peel off in case it sticks to it. So I don't have to worry about anything, any fuzz or anything. So you're just going to kind of tap the glitter on like so. And then you want to try not to get it into the, um, the cracks and crevices of your, um, your gift wrapping. All right. So once I got that, I'm just going to spread it around with my finger to make sure it gets all of the tape. And then I am going to just lift it and tap, 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 tap it off and then just kind of brush it with my finger. And this is a really cool textured glitter. So it feels really, it feels kind of like, um, like a fuzzy ribbon. So isn't that cool? So then you can, um, do your ends, do the same thing. Just kind of tap a little bit on and spread it around. And then just tap, 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 to tap it off. And we'll do the other end. Spread it around. And so you could, you could also do this with, um, uh, any kind of embossing powder or, um, like flocking powder. They have a flocking powder. It's kind of like, um, like crushed velvet kind of stuff. And it would be equally as awesome. But I mean, how can you not love glitter? Like glitter is the best stuff ever. You could also use, um, tissue paper, like put little pieces of tissue paper and peel them off and they would stick to this, um, sticky Hi. Sticky tape. Hey. So we just hey. rub that all on. Hi. 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 All right, and then I have a little brush here. It's just a little foam brush that I'm using for my painting as well. So I'm just gonna brush off the um, edges where I don't want the glitter. Just to kind of clean it up a little bit. It's not necessary. Oh, my tape's coming undone. Not necessary, but it just makes it look a little cleaner. You could use a regular paintbrush or whatever you've got. So this is our finished product. Um, you could also do another strip and do it around like that. I'm going to take this and kind of tap it back into the middle and... And make a mess because why not these um foam brushes are really good to um clean off your little mat as well kind of gets it all to one little end and then just tap it back into your container so you don't waste a whole ton and then always put your lid back on your glitter Ask me why I know that. Um, so this one's really cool. I don't know if you can tell, but it's got really, really cool, like little textured thing going on. It feels fuzzy. It's really cool. So after you do this, you could, um, you could put like a little bow right in the middle. Um, I actually didn't bring my bows in here, but you get like a little ornament and, and glue it on. This one's kind of big, so I probably wouldn't use anything that big. Um, I've also got these bells that I'm going to use for my next one. 
Um, you could totally put one of these little guys on. Just take one of these on, and that would be a super cute little gift. Boom. Um, so I'm going to set this guy aside because I'm going to find a bow for him later. Because he definitely needs a bow. Alright, so the next one that we're going to do is going to be our yarn. Now, um, I've got tons of different yarn. Oops. Thank you, toddler. <laughs> I've got tons of yarn, um, but I picked out this one. It's just a cream color. Oh, what's the matter? Don't be sad. Um, it's just a cream color yarn. Um, you can use any color. Um, I don't know why I got this ball here. So I'm just going to find the end of this. Actually, we'll just cut this. That's fine. So we're going to cut this. And you want quite a bit. What we're going to do here is we're going to... Let's see. Where'd my tape go? There's my tape. Alright. So we're going to tape down one end. And then we're just going to wrap... Wrap, wrap, wrap. And it, you don't want it to be perfect. You want it to be kind of like rustic looking. And then once you get to your end, we're going to get another piece of tape. I'm going to tape this, just taping it in place. I don't want it to move, and I'm, but I'm not ready to cut it yet. I'm going to put a little more tape mm. just so those don't move. All right, so then I'm going to take my bells. Oh, they're all tangled up. Of course they are. All right, that's fine. We're going to cut them apart anyway. So I'm going to take, like, let's see, we've got a large bell. And this little set of bells I got from Target. It was uh, came with ten, 10 bells, three large, three middle, and four small. It was only a dollar. And so we're going to do the large, two mediums, and two smalls. Because I think that'll make a really cute little stair step look. So we have our bells here and we've got our tail from what we um, just taped down. So we are going to measure it around a little past our tape spot and then we are going to cut. So we have our tail and I usually just wet it with my spit. I know that's disgusting. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to space them out like this. We're going to have our small, medium, large, medium, small, just like this. So we are going to, whoops, we're going to just thread them through. And sometimes if you like twist it and then fold it over on itself, it's easier to get through the little holes. So we're just going to stick that little sucker through. Pull it. And the bigger the bells are, the easier they're to get. The little holes are bigger. So it's, once you get the small ones through, it's a lot easier. And then we're just going to lace that one through. So we got small, medium, large, and then we're going to go back to medium, and then another small. Are you singing? Baby shark. Do, 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 do. All right, and the last small one. And you could totally use like one of those big plastic um, embroidery needles for this. Um, so it might be helpful to like tape down the side over here. Just so your stuff doesn't move all around. Just while you're getting them in place. And so, just lay them out, see if you can get them all going the same direction. I 
They don't want to go the same direction, but that's okay. It looks cute like that as well. So I just want to kind of get them centered on my gift. That actually looks cute, kind of clustered up like that. So I dig that. That works out. And then you want to pull it as tight as you can and then come back over to your back side. And what I want to do is I want to put another piece of tape and I'm going to kind of make it longer so it can go over all of these other pieces and um, these other yarns. And so I'm going to just kind of like tuck it under and kind of tie it like a loose little tie just to kind of keep it more secure. So I kind of got like a little knot here on the other side of the tape. And then I'm going to run my my piece back over the tape and just put another piece of tape just to hold everything down. And look how cute that is. So simple. All right. So the next one we are going to do is um, painting. So this is a really fun one. Um, I, like I said, I have like a bajillion um, things of um, craft supplies. So where did my green paint go? I think I lost my green paint. I have a bajillion different paint colors. Um, so, and you can get these from the... Um, the Walmart has them for super cheap, like 50 cents a piece. Um, nope, hold on. Let me grab the right color. Where did the green go? Hmm. I have lost green paint. Where did he go? Okay, well, who knows? I don't know where my green went, so we're going to use black instead, which is fine. Um, you can also get a, um, oh, this is my chalkboard paint. I was going to say you can get a chalkboard paint <laughs> at um, uh, Walmart. I think the chalkboard paint might be a little more expensive, but um, these are really cool. So what you could do is you can use the chalkboard paint to kind of like make yourself a label. So what we're going to do is... I've got this um, metallic copper and always make sure you shake it up really good before you open it. Um, I got this little set at Five Below yesterday. It's um, got little palettes for mixing your paint. So I'm going to just use one of these to plop my paint on. And so I'm just going to put a little bit of my, whoop, a little bit of my copper here. And a little bit of my, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of the chalkboard because I'm going to use that as my like little name label. <clears throat> okay. So I've got this really cool little um, like abstract um, square kind of design. And I'm just going to, of course I still have some glitter on there. I'm just going to paint this on here with my foam brush, just like a quick little layer. And then once I've got that layer on, I'm just going to stamp it on my package. And then maybe do another stamp. Usually you can stamp them twice. All right. And then I've also got, let's see, where's my star? I've got this little star guy here. So I'm going to take some of my copper and I'm going to mix a little bit of my black in with it to make kind of like a darker copper. And then I'm going to do my... my stars with this darker color, kind of like a marbleized look. 
And you could totally do this over the entire package, um, like all sides. Um, I'm just going to do it on the front here. And so I'm just going to squish that on here, press it on real good. Now I've got some stars. You can use any kind of stamps with this. You can even use like rubber stamps. All right, and so then after we have that, after you completely do all your stamps, then you can take your chalkboard paint and just kind of like make your little label spot. And so then you just paint a little spot. And then after it dries, you can write the person's name right there in chalk. You could even like tie a little piece of chalk to it which would be really cute. I actually have a piece of chalk right up here. Where'd it go? Where'd you go, chalk? There it is. Alright. So once that's dry, we will um, do the name, and you can always just kind of go over it again, make sure it's nice and dark. No, no. All right, so we're gonna let that dry. And then once that is drying, let's sit all our paint stuff over here out of the way. This one is going to be one of my favorites. Mm. Oh, my tape is coming undone. See this? This um, craft paper is so thick, it really doesn't stay formed to where you want it. It just wants to pop back open. So we're just going to add a little bit of extra tape so this guy doesn't pop back open. Okay. So this one, we are actually going to use saran wrap. And I know this price sounds crazy. Um, it kind of is. I'm going to take a long, long piece. And I want this to be kind of thick, so I'm going to double it. Okay. So what I've got here, let's see, where's that? So I got this um, little bottle, and it's got like little um, confetti. It's like little gold um, bells. And I got this also from, uh, Target in their dollar spot. It was also only a dollar. So we are going to open this. Of course, it's got this little cellophane wrapper on it. All right. And so we are going to just kind of sprinkle some of these little bells on the top of this package. Where'd my cord go? And then we are going to put our plastic wrap over it. Now you gotta be really careful with this because you don't want them to spill over the side. So I do one side, tuck it, and then the other side. And you don't really have to use tape because it kind of clings to itself, but you, I would definitely put one at the very end after you've got everything, all the edges folded over. And so then you get your last one and you fold it over and then I'm going to flip it over really fast so they don't like fly around. And then after I've got this part, I'll usually maybe put like one big piece right here just to keep this edge down and one big piece right here and boom look at that it's like a little like a little shaker Bye. thing like a little shaker toy and the little pieces move around it's really cool this is really fun for kids and then when they open it it just goes everywhere so <laughs> yay isn't that fun all right so our last gift here that we're gonna wrap is an odd shape and so what I have is a bag of scrap fabric. And um, I haven't gone through here to pick out which one 
Um, I'm not sure yet, so I'm just going to dig through and, you know, find a fabric that matches um, the person. Um, this one's for a little girl. This one's really cute. I think these scraps actually might be too small, but some of these I'm going to use for a tie. Let's see. So I'm going to take... Alright, I'm going to use this one right here. And then I'm going to use this larger piece here. So your piece of fabric doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the imperfection is what makes it unique. So this is actually a knit fabric, which means it's stretchy. You can use woven fabrics that aren't stretchy. Um, you just might need a little bit of a bigger piece. So I've got my big piece here, which I'm going to use to wrap the majority of the gift. And then I've also got this longer piece here that I'm actually just going to cut a strip of this off because I don't need, well, I can just tear it. I don't need the whole piece. I'm going to use this as a tie to kind of tie it all together at the top. So you just want to put your piece on here and we're just going to kind of rip this piece too because this fabric is a little big. We don't need the whole piece. All right. So you want to do your, um, your sides first kind of pull them up and tuck them in and then you're going to kind of do the same with the other one and just kind of hold it with your hand and then you're going to just wrap your tall sides and you want to make sure that you kind of like gather it as you grab so you don't have any of the gift that's visible And then once you have it all together, it's just going to kind of look like a little ponytail. And you can trim it when you're done. So if you have any crazy ends or edges, you can totally just trim it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tie a knot here. And I'm going to do this with my teeth because I don't have an extra hand. And I'm just going to tie this really, really, really tight like this. All right, so then I'm going to um, kind of figure out how I want to drape this, and I'm just going to kind of cut my extra because I don't want it too big and droopy. I don't need all this extra fabric here. And if you are using fabric scissors, make sure you only use them on fabric or your mom will stab you with them, but, but not the fabric scissors, probably these crappy paper scissors. So we're going to cut the other side similarly. These pa these this is this is why you don't cut other things with fabric scissors because if you use scissors on anything other than fabric, they get really dull and it's super hard to cut through your fabric. So it's going to take us a year for that. All right, so now we have this cute little kind of like floofy thing going on here. And then I'm just going to tie this like I would tie a shoe. Just like a little bow. And then pull my ends out. And then tie it again. And then if one on, one of my ends is sh longer than the other one, I'll just trim that little sucker down. Boom, just like that. And of course, gotta make it festive since it's just some random old fabric. So I got us some candy canes here. Oh my gosh. I don't wanna come out. 
so we are going to take one of our candy canes and we're just going to kind of pull that little bow out and just without breaking the candy cane stick that sucker in there i think i tied it too tight there we go and boom didn't have to use any tape or weird angles or or anything that was just like super easy all right so let's go back to our um let's see is it dry yet it's not quite quite dry um i should have got my heat gun so um obviously this isn't completely dry yet this one over here is but um i just wanted to show you you can use your chalk on this craft paper it works really well even just on the craft paper alone just kind of drawn it you can use colored chalk white chalk um, you can even decorate these with like markers or crayons or have your kids do some art be really cute get that to dry all right I'm impatient so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this piece of fabric right here and I'm just gonna kind of dab it to dry it And this gift is for my um, ex's girlfriend's son. His name is Dragon. So we're going to write his name on here. D. Oops. D. Oh. I probably should have let this dry longer. Oof. You can't really see it too well, but I'll rewrite over it when it's completely dry and you'll be able to see it a little better. But, um, once your, once your, um, your chalkboard paint is dry, that's your little tag and it's just really, really cute. So y'all let me know what you think about these gifts and tell me which one is your favorite. This one looks so fancy. And of course we got to stick a little bow on this guy. All right. Well, thanks for joining me. I hope y'all have a wonderful holiday season. And if you do any of these wrap tricks, please um, send some pictures, post them on here. I am super excited to see if anyone tries any of these out. All right. Thanks. Bye.